Based in the Kamaz plant, Aton Impulse is testament to Nabrezhnya Chelny's reputation as an automotive powerhouse. Named after the explorers of old, there's nowhere the company's Viking all-terrain vehicle can't go. On road, the vehicle's 146 horses propel the two-ton monster at a respectable 90 kilometers an hour. But what it lacks in speed on road, it more than makes up for off road. The Viking's jumbo wheels provide performance on a par with tracks, but without churning up the terrain below. The vehicle has been over 10 years in the making, during which time the developers managed to plan for every possible eventuality. Although we live in a northern country, we had no idea that there are 37 different types of snow. And now we do. There are four or five types of snow that are impossible for any vehicle to drive across, including snowmobiles and even reindeer get stuck. That is why we used ultra-low pressure tires on our vehicle to enable it to traverse this kind of snow. We can also increase the vehicle's ground clearance from 30 to 55 centimeters. By raising the suspension, you can roll back a bit and then move forward, pushing your way through the snow and onto your destination. The pressure of Viking's tires can also be lowered and raised from within the cab. The lower the pressure, the larger the footprint, the more grip the vehicle has. The Viking's extremely low center of gravity also makes it difficult to roll over on even the steepest of slopes. Now, as much as I like getting thrown around in the back, there's no way I'm going to let our driver Nias here have all the fun. Nias, can I have a go? Of course. Thanks. Apart from the central driving position and height, driving the Viking was like any other vehicle. Soon I felt confident enough to open her up a bit and see what she could do. As we glided effortlessly across the snow, it was easy to forget we were on a frozen river. We're looking into making the vehicle transportable by helicopter with an external sling so that it can be inserted or evacuated by air. So instead of driving the vehicle some 5,000 kilometers or so to its operational location, you can just bring it over with a helicopter and get to work. Twelve Vikings have been assembled by hand so far. They're currently being used in St. Petersburg, the far north, and by the emergency services. The company plans to make 25 vehicles this year to perfect the manufacturing process and shift to mass production by 2015, making between 100 and 150 ATVs a year. And just like its ancestors, the Viking is no landlubber. It's also a fully amphibious vehicle. Rescue services asked us to develop a vehicle that could pass through water that's full of debris, the kind that you have to deal with if you have to move around in an area devastated by a flood. So, we contacted some people in the shipbuilding industry and had a four-bladed propeller with a 120% overlap designed especially for us. It is essentially a screw. Aton Impulse is still testing and improving the Viking's design. It's also working on a six-wheel version and custom models for the various emergency services. The founders of the company cut their teeth working for Kamas and even include a national buggy champion. The Viking's custom composite propeller spins at 4,000 RPM, giving it a maximum speed of 15 kilometers an hour on water. The Viking's centrally mounted engine and buoyant construction make it as seaworthy as any longship. It's also the only off-road amphibious vehicle in the world that's completely road legal. Not bad for a small factory from Nabarezhnya Chelny.